Hi again, everyone. I'm Ali Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Mr. WTF. And here's his story. Ah, uh, it's just a small contribution for a short submission. I'm going to be back with bigger contributions and submissions later than in the year. I've been reflecting on the attitude of my baby boomer narc dad to property and money. Remember, he and my siblings abandoned my sick mother, leaving me to look after her and then tried to make out full-time care wasn't like wasn't anything like working. So they were saying, yeah, full-time you him being full-time care wasn't wasn't a job. It was always as if his understanding of what hard work and the importance of property was and my generation were coddled and naive when it was his generation that had the achievable goal of owning their own property and accessing gainful employment easily. Even allowing for inflation, because of the bizarre rise in the house prices in the UK, the family home cost him a disproportionately small fraction of what it's worth now. Well, that's most, that's everybody. I mean, the baby boomers murdered the housing market. Bought, whole, bought low, sold high, and put it all on Gen X's back. He had paid off the mortgage by the time he was 35 and had enough money to help with down payments on my siblings' houses. Don't get me wrong, he did actually work very hard. He never played hard, but he was miserable, res resented spending money, and was suffocatingly controlling and critical of others' expenditure of money. This affected me so badly I would obsess over losing my return bus ticket, so having to pay out again for another single, when at the time the cost was less than the equivalent of a dollar back then. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I also reflect on how his excessive emotionally abusive and condescending behavior towards me made me incapable of becoming truly financially independent myself. I, as I was a complete wreck by the time I was 18. But I honestly don't know if that's a side effect of his gaining supply or a deliberate in his own right. Hope you're okay. I'll be in touch about videos later this year. I'm still physically quite unwell, but I'm getting better slowly. Mr. WTF. <clears throat> Look. What it is is they make you afraid of money. They make it, they, they they use it as a weapon. And when money and when the money is used as a weapon against you, you never have a healthy relationship with it. That's what the narcissist does. They fucking the narcissist makes you have an unhealthy relationship with money. They use the money to control you so you'll never have a healthy relationship with it. I.e., always be dependent on them. That's your baby boomer. That's your baby boomer. So, hope that helps. Thank you for your quick uh, for your contribution and submission. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful. Because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you guys. Without you, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.